Hello my pouring friends and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share the creation process of my background blowout with multiple blooms. First I have my pillow which is acrylic house paint. I've mixed this with some water to thin it down. I'm working on a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas and I flood the surface of this canvas with this pillow paint. I tilt and I stretch this across the canvas to cover most of the surface and then I torch it to pop as many of the air bubbles that floats and sits on the surface of this paint. It's very important to not skip this uh, torching because those air bubbles will surface as little pinholes later on if you do skip this. So I torch at this point in my painting and this is the only time I will use the torch. So if you've been watching some of my other videos, you will note that I have developed my own style of blowing out blooms and backdrops. And I do this by first laying down a few puddles. I blow these puddles out. I spin it to stretch them. And this creates a colorful backdrop for my multiple blooms on top of the backdrop which I blow out later on. In today's pour I'm using three colors and I've chosen two metallics. I've got a copper and I'm also using a gold and I'm going to add a little bit of sunshine yellow. So just those three colors. The, the copper is a bastion copper. The sunshine yellow and the gold is a local brand called Dala. I mix them in my, with my bloom pouring medium in the ratio one to one because they are fairly soft paints. So I'm just doing five puddles here and I'm going to be using both a black and a white cell activator. The cell activator is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam paints. So on top of the gold I'm now adding a black. And you're probably wondering why I would do something like that. Because we all know that gold and black gives a green or yellow and black would create a green. But that's exactly what my intention is. I want to bring in a little bit of green color into this painting without having to add the green. So I'm using two colors in my pore to create a secondary color for, uh, for this painting. Now my blow dryer is always on cool air. And it's an 1800 watt and I'm blowing directly down into the cell activator and spreading that across the colors. So I do that for each of the puddles. I start off with a low setting and position my blow dryer and then I switch to a higher setting to spread that color around. So in this way I get the uh, effect of a humongous amount of cells which I'm showing you now how that blow dryer uh, the friction of the air onto the cell activator creates uh, so many beautiful cells in my center now it's time for me to stretch it out and I um, I'm very careful when I do this I do this very slowly um, I don't really rush it so I blow from this, the edge of the middle part of the puddle. So I don't start from directly in the center because I want to preserve those cells. So I blow the, from this, the edge of the center. And what this is doing now, those cells that are formed on the edge of the center creates such beautiful lines and lacing uh, as you blow it out and as you stretch it out across your pillow just the most beautiful effects and you will see that in a closer shot that I will give you a little bit later in this uh, in this video so if this is the first time for you watching my channel I am so appreciative that you've decided to stop by and watch and follow my videos I am absolutely thankful for your viewership and the time if you are back watching my channel and you're part of my my pouring family thank you so much for being here please like and share and comment below I'd really love to engage with you in some form of conversation 
So to all the new uh, viewers, please consider subscribing and join my Pauline family and you will enjoy more videos and tutorials such as this. So we're giving it a few spins now to stretch those puddles across the canvas. This creates the backdrop for my multiple blooms, which I will do next. I love this part of the video. I love doing the spinning. It's so exciting to see what you're going to get and how that blooms will expand and create just an amazing backdrop. At some point in, the, in my process, I'm actually considering not to do the blooms on top because I just love how the background turns out. But for this, this one, I'm going to do two puddles. So I use some of the extra pillow paint and I lay that down in extra puddles. Uh, for this video, I'm going to do two more. And then I'm going to add the paints, the paint colors again in the same, the same order that I did it previously. So I'm going to lay down the copper, that's a bright copper. And uh, that will be followed by the sunshine yellow and uh, after that i will add the gold and then the two cell activators i will start with the black and end off with some of the white so i'm struggling to get some of that yellow out of the bottle i need to fill it up again i need to mix up some fresh paint and fill up my bottles again but it's just enough to cover the puddle and i'm happy with the amount that is on there now So it's time for the cell activators and then I'm going to use the blow dryer again and I'm going to um, put, put on some soft music so that you can enjoy the process further. So um, the, at the end I show you a close-up view where you can see all the beautiful details. So I hope that I'm inspiring you to do this technique as well. If you live in Cape Town I do offer uh, private classes so you're welcome to email me I'll share my email address with you in the description box below if you'd like a private lesson in bloom uh, paintings you're welcome to contact me and I'll give you all the information you need so take care everyone and stay well and thank you for popping by I'd see you on the next one bye for now